Hello everybody, it is Magma and I'm here with a brand new LEGO Star Wars video for you guys. Today we're going to go ahead and count down the top 10 best LEGO Star Wars clone troopers that have been released over the years from 2002 all its way up to 2016. So well, lately we haven't been having much of clone troopers so I thought it'd be a good time to summarize up the best ones we've had. Um, I will be excluding commanders if that's um, if that's acceptable. I'm gonna go ahead and exclude those because otherwise they would be taking up the top spots for regular clone troopers. So this is uh, of course uh, my opinion, and a bit of it is based on fans. So what you guys like, I put in the list uh, because my uh, personal opinion I've noticed is very different from a lot of people. So right now you're staring at our. Um, how to put this. Uh, these are honorable mentions, uh, three great clone troopers right here, um, but that they couldn't make it in the list. So without further ado, uh, let's hop right in. So what uh, the spot of number 10, we have this yellow clone trooper, um, known to be the 327th Star Corps. Uh, could be a commander, it could be a regular trooper. This this is an all-time favorite for a lot of fans. Um, it was first released in the Turbo Tank, being an extremely cool and rare figure. And um, here is his back. And once it was released in the Turbo Tank and people loved it so much, it was at the time just as rare as the Kashyyyk Trooper. Um, it finally got released in a battle pack where we could finally get multiples of. So, it's a very plain figure, but a very amazing figure. I know, uh, I know myself, I've got what is it, four of those, and I just love these guys. I'd love to get some more. Um, they're not expensive at all, so definitely if you haven't had this clone trooper in your collection, go get it right now. Uh, we're going to move on to spot number nine. So, spot number nine is for the wolf pack trooper included in the um, the Europa like frigate that was released in 2011 has a lot of leg print, torso print, has a really really cool helmet print to it, uh, a really really cool overall clone trooper, and definitely one of the best ones out there. And I even believe that it surpasses its newer edition from 2014. Number 8 is dedicated to the Airborne Trooper from 2014, released in the Battle Pack, so uh, I didn't know whether to add this figure or not in the list. It's a really, really cool minifigure. Um, I thought it, I don't think it really, it wasn't like really worth because it's not really vintage, it hasn't, it's a very easy to get figure, however we have been waiting so long for these guys, so it's finally nice that they have been released. Um, it's an amazing figure. There's a lot of prints to it. Um, I'll go ahead and even turn this around So yeah, definitely uh, everybody should have this figure by now Otherwise uh, something's kind of going wrong there So for number seven I wanted to head back to classics um, We got here our clone scout trooper uh, from the clone scout walker and it's actually a recon trooper, uh, one of Commander Neo's soldiers. Um, I forget the name of these guys, but they're really, really cool. And um, there's, we all know who this figure is. There isn't much to go on about. It's just a classic for all of us. Um, yeah. So definitely one of the better LEGO figures as clone troopers. Spot number 6 goes to the 501st Legion Clone Trooper. Um, the, this guy has been released uh, in 2013 in two sets and we haven't seen him since. Uh, we've waited a long time for this trooper to come around and when he finally did we all were uh, pretty excited. So honestly, uh, good job LEGO and definitely one of the better clone troopers. This is number 6. Um, I think it's it goes on top of most of clone troopers, but there are better soldiers than this guy. 
Spot number five is for the Shock Trooper. Um, amazing clone trooper. Uh, I don't think I need to go more in detail. This is one of the, the classics. Way back from the 2007 original clone battle pack and then released in the ATAP Walker. Um, an amazing clone trooper. Uh, a lot of people have this figure. A lot of people have this incomplete figure. A uh, helmet somewhere, body somewhere else. So, an amazing clone trooper, um, doesn't need much more than that, I think we all either have this figure or have thought of wanting this figure because it is just amazing. One of the newest clone troopers in 2015, uh, the latest clone trooper we've had actually, uh, here at the uh, beginning of 2015, latest clone trooper we've had, uh, definitely a great minifigure line. My personal favorite, I think, uh, if I can remember well from the minifigure list. Personal favorite, uh, definitely an amazing figure. Blue markings make it stand out. It used to be a polybag exclusive. And the clone trooper lieutenant in person has this blue tint to it. It's beautiful. And it's definitely uh, good looking in front of the uh, entire army. So yeah. This list would not have been complete without the original Clone Trooper. So this one's way back from 2003. I actually bought this figure individually to get it. Um, an amazing figure. This one is the original, the ancestor, uh, kind of like the grandfather of all of the Clone Troopers we have nowadays. Um, its torso is the same as the Episode 3 Clone Trooper. The only uh, special thing about this guy is his visor, his helmet is uh, pretty, pretty cool. So yeah. Um, so no Clone Trooper uh, countdown list could go on without having this guy in it. So number nine is for the, oh sorry, number two is for the Kashyyyk Trooper. So, what can I say about this guy? He's probably everybody's favorite clone trooper. He's everybody's top pick for most lists. Um, I have a better figure than this. Um, that's why it's number two. But it's an amazing clone trooper. Honestly, there isn't much we can argue about this guy. Um, I'm really, really happy to have mine in a perfect condition. It has no cracks. Um, I've played with this figure my entire life. I've had it since the Turbo Tank was released and um, I'm just so happy to own this figure, honestly. So definitely one of the best clone troopers uh, LEGO has ever released and I think a lot of people could back me up on this. So yeah. So let's move on to the best clone trooper ever released. So the best ever released clone trooper minifigure is this one in my personal opinion. Of course, um, there is a lot of people who will not agree with me. Um, I know a lot of people that actually don't really like this figure, but in my opinion, this is uh, one of the best LEGO Star Wars minifigures out there. So mine has a lot of cracks and um, I was actually going to go ahead and tell you guys I'm planning on getting maybe five or five or four more of these guys without cracks because mine have cracks on the torsos, on the arms, and on the back torsos. So I can't really use them, I can't really even put them on the mock. Um, I, I actually have both of mine uh, bagged like this, so can't really do anything with them because they're cracked. And this one is, for me, by far uh, the best of the best clone troopers. So please leave me some feedback whether you're actually okay with this, whether you're not with me on this, or what are your thoughts on the best top 10 clone troopers. If I missed out one of your personal favorites, definitely hit a comment. Um, I know I did miss out a few of my favorites as well because I thought some clone troopers were better. So um, let's go ahead and discuss that in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.